at the Santa Ana property. It's nine o'clock in the morning. We are parked over there. There's a small little logging road there. This mountain here in between it and on the back side is the Santana workings. We are 1200 meters away. We are up out of the new logging area here. Looking for Scarn. Scarn float and mineralized Scarn. Whether it's mineralized or not. So we're checking up here. We're trying to see if there's any extensions or anything going up this far. So let's uh, go for a hike. We are about 20 meters in to the woods here. Lots of interesting float here. Some quartz here. Lots of this coming out of the bank right here. There are little bands of what looks like pyrite and disseminated pyrite in this. Lots of quartz here too. Definitely some mineralization in here. Pretty much every rock we hammer so far is either quartz or that or this. So this actually looks like bedrock here, there, all along here, bedrock's exposed, bedrock, bedrock. So fairly shallow bedrock here. Two types of rock here that we pull off bedrock. This is your granite here and this is your scarn. So scarn is mineralized as well as the granite. And what we're actually finding is most of the mineralization is in granite that's altered to Nisic rock as well as the scarn. And on top of that, you do have some limestone that's mineralized, but we haven't found any limestone yet up here at least. Makes it a little bit difficult when you're prospecting when every single rock you find is so black and cooked so rusty all the rocks we found under this area similar to that the occasional barren quartz and piece of uh, granitic rock So, we're on one of three humps. One over there, one here, one over there. Everything else is perfectly flat in all the forest. So the weird humps in the middle of the forest with bedrock sticking up. So we are directly on strike of the Santana mine workings and all the trenches Everything we found is right in line with the side of this ridge here and If you go up top It's a big flat area and about 20 Meters over you lose your scarn, which is all this area with intense oxidation and you hit granite that is unmineralized. 
So here, right on the edge of this rock face is where we're seeing it. And you can see some pyrotization disseminated. Looks like we're on the Skarn, far less mineralized than farther down below the mountain, but nonetheless, it's still Skarn. Around the front side of this, you can just see how burgundy this is. Lots of oxidation. We're looking at a granitic rock here. You can see all the black cutting through the black on the side. Looks like it's magnetic, very magnetic. Definitely some magnetite. So we're just on the main road now, about uh, 200 meters past that little magnetite showing. If you take a look at this, all the outcrop on the side of the road is black. And if you take a closer look, you'll see all of the outcrop is magnetic. This is magnetite, a giant area of magnetite. All in here. So we're gonna take a look at this outcrop up here as well, see what we can see. Okay, take a look at this. Magnetite. We have magnetic boulders all over the place and take a look at this. Look at this outcrop here. I just pulled a sample from right here. And it is right here. Take a look at that. Magnetite. We have a giant outcrop here of magnetite. Or at least banding through it is magnetic. We've taken a few grab samples from the bottom of the outcrop there, from here and up there, right where J2 is headed. Uh, there's another area there where it's exposed. We haven't exposed anything under this moss, but um, it looks pretty similar. Outcrop, pretty consistent all the way through. And what this actually looks like is heavily disseminated magnetite. And then you have banding like this cutting through of solid magnetite. So you can see one, two, three samples here. You can see magnetic, all three samples. Here's a sample I broke off. You can see all this here, all the black that's shiny is your magnetite. All these big crystals here. And you can see the, the banding through, which is also magnetite. So a good amount of magnetite, and so far we've chipped off about 20 different spots on this outcrop, and uh, they all look similar to this. So, a very, very nice showing. Very interesting to follow up on this one. But uh, we're going to move on and keep going. So that outcrop right through there, that's the top portion we took our our last three samples off of going down about 50 meters is the magnetite area all along that. So we are 50 meters away from that now. And if you take a look at this, something interesting here, you can see the contact right here. 
And this is interwoven limestone in with your granitic rock, your gneissic rock. So very interesting. We are at the contact here. And as you can see, you have more magnetite there. So you have magnetite in that little patch up there. You have your various host rocks interwoven with limestone there. Quartz float, obvious quartz veining, same host rock as you're finding here. So this obviously wasn't from too far away, maybe up there, but everything is moss covered so it's a little bit difficult to see. So we took a sample from there and then two more around the corner. And then this is that other outcrop there where the limestone contacts host rock. And we're in the middle of the two because we can see limestone up here as well. And we found this area of oxidation. A little bit of mineralization. Little bits of fine iron pyrite. So, pretty consistent with what we were seeing in the forest at the beginning of the video. And another sample we took just above that. You have again your magnetite. So, two more samples we got. J2 is looking above. Here is another sample. You can see sulfides in there. Just been chipping out of here.